Hi everybody, my name is Kelly Hammonds. I'm a senior director with Close to My Heart, and I'm very excited to be here with you today to talk about Slimline cards, as well as Close, as well as Close to My Heart's new color of the year. Today, we rolled out two brand new catalogs. The first on the left is our seasonal catalog. It comes out every two months. In this, you will find seasonal papers, stamp sets, thin cuts, and other fun goodies. In our core catalog that comes out annually, you will find new paper packs, new stamp sets, new die cuts, new embellishments, new multimedia items, as well as some brand new colors and much, much more. So let's get started with our project today for the Slimline Cards. Okay, the Slimline Card that I'm going to make with you today will feature the Boca Technique. So for it, I need my Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to use my Stickles Gel. I have my White Daisy Exclusive ink. I'm going to use that to primer the woods. The woods are brand new for us starting September 1st. Um, a spatula and a heat gun to dry the distress oxide between the layers. And then for the circles, I created my own stencil. I just went on to Cricut and I gave it uh, five different circle sizes and cut them far enough apart so that when I use it, I don't go into another circle. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate this for you now. To make my card, the first thing I did was to tape it to my all-purpose mat. I made the mistake of trying to color my circles on it without it being taped down and it moved it all around. The next step then, I started moving my stencil around with my first color, the blue. And I just randomly put the circles all around the, the card, making sure some of them came off of the actual cardstock. After I was done with the blue, I used the blow dryer to go ahead and dry the ink. I want to layer my colors one on top of the other. And if I don't dry it first, they will mix. And I don't want that look. So first I did the blue. And then I did the green. Actually, the blue is chipped sapphire, then the peeled paint, and now I'm doing the picked raspberry. Afterwards, I did the peacock feathers, I believe, and then last I did the pumice stone. I added the pumice stone at the end just to try to take a little bit of the brightness off. Now, since I started with the blue, when I got done with all the major colors, I came back to the dark blue and put more dots on. I didn't want the card to look like it had been layered up blue, then green, then pink. So I put some blue back on top to kind of mix it up. When I use the mini ink blending tool, I'm careful to make sure that I'm either, I'm working in a circular motion or at least from the outside in. If you look at my original card at the top, some of the circles have halo, the halo effect or the extra ring around it. And that is because I was using my brush from the inside out and all the excess ink would collect on the outside ring. I moved my washi tape around to make sure that I got every corner, every side of the card had some sort of dot, hopefully coming off the page or on the page and just moved around. There's no pattern. Um, some cards have a little more dots. Some of my cards have less. Um, it's just whatever you feel like. I like my second card because it's nice and bright. My first card wasn't quite so bright. Um, I like the look of both of them. But as you can see, it takes a little bit of time to get all of your dots down and then dry them and then move on. Finally, I took the Moon Dust Stickles Glitter Gel and did the same process, putting the dots around the paper. With it though, you have to be careful because you don't want your stencil to get into any of your dots because that glitter gel will, will spread and smear more than the oxide ink will. So I wish my stencil had been just a little smaller in the corners, but I was able to get a significant number of dots on my card the way I wanted, even one coming off the page. Hi, I want to show you how I got the pink high on the card, okay? I just realized that when I shot the video that it was completely off the screen. So instead, I'm going to work with the yay, and hopefully you can see what I did. So I'm going to take my White Daisy ink. This is a pigment ink by Close to My Heart. As you know, hopefully, that all of our inks are magnetic, and so they open and close very easily. But I'm just going to take the white ink, and I'm using this as a primer. So I'm just going to put it down in the ink, and the wood is just going to soak it right up, okay? There we go. Next, I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to dry it. Okay, so I finished drying it, and if you remember in my original card, 
um, it's not quite white, but I use the pumice stone. And so the trick you can do with the wood, again, is you can just push it down in and swipe it and it'll pick up the ink really well. And then if there's any spots you want to go back over, you can. This actually looks pretty good. Okay. So when I put it on this card initially, okay, I didn't like the way the white on it looked. I have such vivid colors in this card that I wanted something a little more vivid. So if you're not sure what color you want, my trick for you is flip it over and do the pro same process. Do your white ink, your pigment ink to t for a base coat, right? Let that dry. Okay, the white pigment ink is dry. So now I wanna see if there's a color that I like better for my card. So this was what my card was going to be. So I wanted to test some colors. So I took my raspberry oops, and put that on one end. Okay, you can always fill in the blanks with your brush. And I thought, well, maybe the peacock feathers, a nice bright color would look good. So I put that on the other end. And if there was a third color or four colors or five colors, you could each put them on the wood and then put it on your card and decide which one you like best. And in the end, I liked the pickled, the picked raspberry, the picked raspberry for my card. Once it dries, it dries a little lighter, as you can see there. Um, and that's how I was able to put color on my wood piece for my finished card. Now I'd like to show you a few of the slimline cards that I've made or had made by some of my friends. This is actually made by Denise Sanner. She's done a wonderful job using the Distressed Oxide inks. I know that she used some water and did some blending. You can see the blending that she's done. And then she used some of our new stencils, our new 12 by 12 stencils. And in the corner here, she has stamped a sentiment from the Bloom and Grace Scrapbooking Stamp and Thin Cut Bundle. And she did use the, hopefully you can see, see there, she did use our new Distressed Watercolor uh, cardstock. It really helps the Distressed Oxide inks uh, work better with water and blending. So I think she's done a really beautiful job. The next card is a uh, nice, a really nice card. Um, I've used glitter in the background, some of our holographic paper. I used a brand new stamp set, the Nursery Days. Comes both with uh, the stamp sets and the dies. I used the new heart background to cut out the holographic paper. Okay, this is the Majestic, the new Majestic holographic paper. Okay, and what I really like about this is that even though this is a four and a quarter by five and a half size card, I have figured out a way to modify it for my slimline card. Now, Close to My Heart doesn't make anything specifically for slimline cards, but I've been able to adapt a lot of our products and they work beautifully. So what I did was I went ahead and I used this die with the holographic paper and cut it out. Then I glued it down to, and this is actually ballerina card stock, uh, glitter paper. It's a brand new color, too. It's got a, a little bit of pink in it. And when I glued it down, and then I was able to trim it down to the size of the slimline card. The die cut, as you can see here, naturally does a nice stitching around the edges as well as the hearts. But I lost the stitching around the edges because it's wider than my slimline. So instead, I cut out a frame with my pink paper and glued it down. And so you don't miss the frame, and I still have the beautiful hearts. I also used one of our brand new flower sequins for the onesie, okay? And so then that's my baby girl card. I also made a baby boy card using the same heart thin cuts here. And instead I cut it out of vellum paper and put it on top of the new Blue Bell glitter paper. This is also the new Blue Bell cardstock. Again, I created my own frame and I still even, hopefully you can see, you can see the little stitching shows up on the, on the vellum. So I want to talk about Bluebell. Bluebell is our uh, color of the year. Each year close to my heart has a color of the year, and I just love Bluebell. I just think it's such a beautiful paper. To me, it is a little bit blue, a little bit purple, a little bit gray, and it goes well with so many things as I'm going to show you. So this is another one of our new die cuts. Okay, This one is called Floral Background, and this time you can see it cuts a border. So when you're making a four and a quarter by five and a half card, it looks beautiful. Well, I wanted to have that same effect on this card. So what I did was I cut it out so that I, ca I captured one corner, okay? So this comes directly from here. Then I cut it off about an eighth of an inch short, shorter than the card, and took the edge that came across here and just glued it down. So now I have a frame. Didn't have a frame at the bottom, but that's okay. I used one of our new stitch tags and I covered that part so you don't even know what's missing. Added a little flower and some of our stickles. Um, stickles are really close. The waterfall is really close to the bluebell color. And this stamp set, grateful to call you a friend, 
comes from our new operation stamp set. Our new Operation Smile stamp set for the year is this one, Every Bit of Wonderful. Really beautiful flowers, some nice sayings, you make my heart happy, um, you are every bit of wonderful, grateful to call you friend, inside and out, you're beautiful. And what I love about this program is that everyone who buys this stamp set, $7 of it will go directly to Operation Smile. And that is the philanthropic effort that Close to My Heart supports. And they fix the cleft palettes for children and adults uh, around the world. So that is what I used on this card for my sentiment. I'm really excited today to be one of the first to introduce you to our new color of the year, Blue Bell. Isn't it beautiful? I just love this new color. It's a little bit blue, a little bit purple, a little bit gray. Um, this is the color of the bluebell. And on the back, all of, all of our cardstock, we have the lighter hue, so you get both of these choices. We also have it in our glitter paper. Isn't this just gorgeous? I just love the way our glitter paper looks, and I love the bluebell color. And a lot of my customers, almost all of them, tell me that our glitter paper is the best to use when you're cutting on your Cricut because it does not slough off glitter at all, and it's easy to cut. We also have several embellishments. First, we have the shimmer trim. Looks just like the glitter paper, except for it's self-adhesive on the other side. We have the bluebell pearls. You get three sheets of small, medium, and large pearls. We also have our glitter gems. You get a whole sheet of large ones and a whole sheet of the small. And then we have our sequins. Our sequins, they are in the bluebell. They also have the iridescent white. There's some white hearts in there. That's the loose sequins. And as of September 1st, when this airs, we should also have our inks, our re-inkers, and actually a Bluebell Shimmer Brush. So we should have our inks, re-inker, and shimmer brush in Bluebell by the 1st of September. And last but never least, we have a brand new, I can't even get it in the frame, um, our Everyday Life album, which is a 12 by 12 album, three ring. And this is a great album for storing uh, projects. Um, I use it to store, or when I'm working on my annual subscription, when, uh, scrapbook subscription, I like to put them in here, or if I'm just doing some pages and I'm not ready to put them in their final book. So. One of the things that I truly love about Close to My Heart is our founder and owner, Jeanette Linton, has written several Make It From Your Heart and how other how-to books. If you're familiar with our Make It From Your Heart, Volume 3, which is scrapbook pages, or Make It From Your Heart, Volume 4, which are cards, you'll be excited to know that later in October, our Volume 5 is coming out. It includes 20 scrapbook pages and 10 card designs. You might know these as sketch patterns. We just know them as wonderful patterns to follow to make beautiful cards and layouts. Now, whether you're making slimline cards or maybe pages or regular cards, the Love of Color Volume 2, which is brand new, and the Love of Color Volume 1 can help you with any project. It basically takes any one of our colors and it shows you other colors to put it with. Have you ever gotten stuck going, I really like this color, but I always use it with the same red and the same green or the same blue and the same yellow? Well, this will help you get out of that rut. And so it shows you the color with two other choices, three other choices, or four other choices that makes beautiful balanced pages and projects. So, what does this have to do with slimline cards, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. So, Blue Bell, color of the year. I took the pattern, the color suggestions from the Love of Color Volume 2, and I made my cards based on the suggestions to get me out of my rut. So, the first card I made, I did it using our Evergreen and Pebble, which is our dark green and a light gray, and I made this thanks card. Now, um, something you'll notice here is if you can see my hearts, they're a little bit blue, a little bit green, a little bit evergreen, a little bit of bluebell. What I did was I took a full sheet of paper and I used my distressed inks and I inked it up and then I spritzed it with water. And when it dried, I had a whole 12 by 12 sheet of paper that then I did run through my uh, stitched heart die cut and cut out my two hearts. On the other side, I have used the pebble cardstock with my bluebell glitter paper. The thanks die cut has become one of my new favorite die cuts. You can see, I should have opened it for you all right here. You not only get the background, but you get the individual letters to go nest in them. You can use um, the two together if you want to just use the letters alone, you can. And so I think this is a really good example of how that Bluebell, Evergreen, and Pebble come together very nicely in a card. I even used the Bluebell glitter gems down here. Then I made another card 
Remember I told you that I took the different uh, greens and blues in the oxide ink. This time I used them on that Distressed Watercolor cardstock, which made it much easier to blend it together. Again, I made a 12, um, I think this is, a, it's an 8.5 by 11 sheet, so I made the whole sheet and then I cut it up for my background. I used the holographic paper, which this I believe is the Oasis, on top of the pebble. And then I used the sequins from Bluebell for the accents. For my four color combination, Bluebell, Wisteria, Sangria, and Pewter, I made this card right here from a Wild Bunch. I included a, a piece of the Shimmer Trim from Bluebell. Um, I've used the Sangria for my sentiments. I used the Bluebell ink, the Pewter on my Koala Bear, Pewter on the Koala Bear, and Wisteria for the background, for my back piece. And that is my combination for Bluebell, Wisteria, Sangria, and Pewter. Then for my five color combination, Bluebell, Sapphire, Paprika, Sundance, and Linen, Sundance is a new color, I made two cards. This is my first card, and what I love about this card and the next card is I was able to use our stitch squares. What I like about my stitch square dies are not only do they cut out a stitch square, but at the same time it cuts out a stitched frame. So every time I use the single die, I end up with two pieces. So on my card, I have used the center part of the stitch, thin, stitch square die cut. So that's my outside with my sapphire. Then I've used the paprika and the sundance to make flowers. And those flowers have come from our new stitched florals. You didn't even need to stamp them. They do have the dies and the stamps, but I just went with the simple flower. Then for the diamond at the bottom, I used our new lovely borders. And it also comes with dies, but again, I just stamped it straight on there with the sapphire. And then for my sentiment, I'm sorry, for my sentiment, it also came from our stitch florals. Words could never express my heartfelt thanks for all you do, which fits perfectly into that square. And then finally, for the flowers, if you remember, we had the white flower sequins. We also have the colored flowered sequins in a beautiful array of spring colors. The second card that I made used the frame that was left over from my squares. And again, I've used this color combination. I've got my frame. I have flowers from the Operation Smile set that we mentioned before. Stamped my flower. I used the Bluebell pearls. I used my shimmer brush, my clear one on the two Sangria flowers and the gold one on the Sundance one. And the You Make My Heart Happy also is the sentiment from our Operation Smile stamp set. So that gives you an idea how you can come up with different cards, different projects, using our Love of Color book to give you more ideas when you get a little stymied. Um, each page also gives you some beautiful layouts, some beautiful cards that you can mimic on your own. Remember, the Love of Color 2 is available now. The Love of Color number, Volume 1, which is in my... Binder, they all have our three hole punch, so they go in binders, is available now. And our Make It From Your Heart 3 and 4 available now. Make It From Your Heart Volume 5 will be out in October. As I wrap up my presentation today, I want to thank every one of you who took the time to watch it. On behalf of the other Close to My Heart consultants that work with Stampin' Scrapbook Expo and have been participating in these virtual at-home events, um, we appreciate your support. Jolene, Tanya, Tina, and myself um, couldn't do it without you. So if you don't mind, take the time to go back and watch Tanya's presentation of pe for pets. She presented our brand new pet stamp sets as well as our brand new wood paper. And make sure that you check out Tina's next presentation. She is our next presenter, and she is going to be talking to you about creativity in motion. Now, it's her show for creativity in motion, but I do want to show you my slimline cards and give you a sneak preview of what Tina is going to show you. So how much fun are these cards? Aren't they cute? Can you see that? So make sure you check out Tina's presentation. Make sure you shop my specials, and we all look forward to seeing you soon. Have a wonderful day.